is a triumph for Hardy Amy's high couture and femininity. Far from the heady world of top fashion, the city of Bruges, dominated by its famous belfry. Looking down on this ancient Flemish stronghold is like taking a bird's eye view of history. For this old town was once the very cornerstone of medieval culture and chivalry. The River Ray and its interlocking canals are crossed by the 50 bridges that gave Bruges its name. Clinging nostalgically to its chivalrous past, every five years, Bruges indulges itself in one of the most charming and picturesque carnivals in all Europe, the pageant of the Golden Tree. The modern brass band passes by. Hereafter, the pageant becomes, to the wonder of the children, a fairy tale. Enter the giants. The story of the pageant of the Golden Tree is a mixture of legend and fact, yet its main theme is true enough, the marriage of a beautiful English noblewoman, Margaret of York, to Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy, in the year 1468. Murderous, marauding Vikings raided the Flemish coast often enough, and the dark memory still lingers. In rich medieval Bruges, wool was wealth, so it became the fulcrum of a famous order of chivalry, the Knights of the Golden Fleece. Arrogant Normans were Bruges' envious neighbours. They struck through the old streets now as they must have longed to do centuries ago. History passes by in a riot of colour. Maybe Europe's dark ages weren't so dark after all. Once upon a time, the nearby town of Dama was saved from a disastrous flood when a dog was thrust into a break in the dike. So the dogs of Dama joined the pageant as a rightful honour. With all the pomp and ceremony and haughty arrogance, with which medieval pageantry impressed the lowly peasants and townsfolk, the Duke's drummers set the scene for the appearance of the stars of the show. Demure and beautiful as a high-born maiden was expected to be, the Princess Margaret of York. Behind her comes the handsome and chivalrous Knight of the Golden Fleece, Count of Flanders, and by the grace of God, Duke of Burgundy, Charles the Bold. The dreamlike fantasy wanders rhythmically on through the ancient town of Bruges, stirring memories of those wonderful, chivalrous days of the Golden Trees. 